Is death a personage, Don Juan? I asked as I sat down on the porch. I explained I wanted to know if death was a person, or like a person, when it watched a warrior's last dance. What difference does it make? I told him that the image was fascinating to me, and that I wanted to know how he arrived at it, how he knew that that was so. It's all very simple. A man of knowledge knows that death is the last witness because he sees. Do you mean that you've witnessed a warrior's last dance yourself? No, a warrior can't be such a witness. Only death can do that. But I have seen my own death watching me, and I have danced to it as though I were dying. At the end of my dance, death did not point in any direction. So my time on earth was not up yet, and I did not die. When all that took place, I had limited power, and I did not understand the designs of my own death. Thus, I believed I was dying. Was your death like a person? You're a funny bird. You think you're going to understand by asking questions. I don't think you will, but who am I to say? Death is not like a person. It is rather a presence. But one may also choose to say that it's nothing, yet it's everything. One would be right on every account. Death is whatever one wishes. I am at ease with people, so death is a person for me. I am also given to mysteries, so death has hollow eyes for me. I can look through them. They are like two windows, and yet they move, like eyes move. And so I can say that death, with its hollow eyes, looks at a warrior while he dances for the last time on earth. But is that only for you, Don Juan? Or is it the same for other warriors? It's the same for every warrior that has a dance of power. And yet, it is not. Death witnesses a warrior's last dance, but the manner of which the warrior sees his death is a personal matter. It could be anything. A bird, a light, a person, a bush, a pebble, a piece of fog, or an unknown presence. What determines the way one does anything is personal power. A man or woman is only the sum of their personal power, and that sum determines how he or she lives and dies. What is personal power? Personal power is a feeling, something like being lucky, or one may call it a mood. Personal power is something that one acquires regardless of one's origin. I have already told you that a warrior is a hunter of power and that I'm teaching you how to hunt and store it. The difficulty with you, which is the difficulty with all of us, is to be convinced. You need to believe that personal power can be used, and it's possible to store it, but you haven't been convinced so far. To be convinced, you need to act by yourself. It will take a great deal of effort to do that. It's funny the way you sometimes remind me of myself. I, too, didn't want to take the path of a warrior. I believe that all that work was for nothing, and since we are all going to die, what difference would it make to be a warrior? I was wrong, but I had to find that out for myself. Whenever you do realize you're wrong, and that it certainly makes a world of difference, you can say you're convinced, and then you can proceed by yourself. And by yourself, you may even become a man of knowledge. I asked him to explain what he meant by a man of knowledge. A man of knowledge is one who has followed truthfully the hardships of learning. A man who has, without rushing or faltering, gone as far as he can in unraveling the secrets of personal power. Hunting power first has to be an idea. Then it has to be set up, step by step. And then, bingo, it happens. How does it happen? Don Juan stood up. He began stretching his arms and arching his back like a cat. His bones, as usual, made a series of cracking sounds. Let's go. We have a long journey ahead of us. But there are so many things I want to ask you. We are going to a place of power. Save your questions for when we are there.